Let's look at some ways to make your slides look clearer and more impressive with some formatting techniques. PowerPoint gives you a range of options to format your shapes, from simple, to bold, to 3D, to funky, to understated. There's a choice for everyone, for every style. And you can apply the same formatting options to images too, with a few more tricks thrown in to manipulate your image. So let's take a look at some of the options. First, draw a shape, and when you do, you'll see a new tab on the ribbon called Drawing Tools Format. There's a menu of pre-programmed styles, or you can customise things a bit further in the settings. Shape Fill is a good place to start, where you can change the colour, but also change the effect so that the shape has a gradient fill. You can choose some preset options, or choose more gradients to bring up a toolbar to create your own. Set up the direction of the gradient that you want using the options menu, and use the sliders to choose the colour, and move it around to change the colour mix. You can add more colours by clicking on the gradient bar to add another stop, but don't go too crazy. Two or three shades of the same tone can create a nice effect. But mixing up lots of colours is pretty garish. You can remove gradient stops with the red X button. You can also choose from a number of other effects. Go to the Shape Effects button to see the full selection. The shadow functions allow you to highlight the shape with an external shadow, or give it some richness with an internal shadow. The glow functions can add some colour with different sizes and colours available, or further enhance an internal shadow with a matching external glow, particularly if you have a contrasting outline for the shape. You could also get into the 3D world and add a 3D bevel effect to the shape to make it stand out. Or, even get into the 3D rotation functions to make the shape look more like a solid object with some perspective. There's lots to play with here, but the key thing to keep in mind is that you want all your visuals to be really clear. You don't want anything distracting on the slide, so try to keep it subtle. You definitely shouldn't be using all the effect types on every shape. Find a nice format and stick to it.